A lot of people say the church is dying. I would argue though that the church is in a way sort of dying to be resurrected. We're facing a culture now that is just no longer Christendom, that the church is no longer the center of society, no longer the center of the social economic life. People are growing tired of a modern Gnostic gospel which says that we're going to escape this world and that there's not actual consequences of being a Christian in this world now. If faith is living out what you believe in, then that's certainly the way that it's been taught to me here um, by witness and by example, not just in the classroom and not just by reading textbooks. Being an authentic leader of the church is something that LTSS emphasizes over and over and over in every way in our gospels class, in our church history class, and the emphasis is really that all of these things matter. What I love about what Southern is doing right now is that it's trying to draw in those kind of leaders. It wants to bring in people who are saying to themselves, the church has given me so much and I'm so blessed by what it has, but I want to know how this church is going to react to today's life and culture. I'm really excited about where Lutheran Theological Southern Seminary is going. I, I think among all the ELCA seminaries, this is one that's really looking to try to figure out how we're going to engage the 21st century as a church. We are actually one of the stablest seminaries in North America because of the stabilization that comes through the merger with Lenore Ryan University. So we put together the tradition of a long-standing Lutheran University and embedded a long-standing seminary into that and put together the strengths of both, which just, we're one of a kind in that way. We've got a long-standing United Methodist Studies program. We've got a Baptist Studies program. We have a history of graduating Episcopal students, Presbyterian students, AME students. One of the nice things about about Southern Seminary is that it is now 50% ecumenical. Half of our students are ELCA students, half of our students are from other denominations. So in the classroom we capture this rich ecumenical dialogue that matches what's going on in the broader church. They teach um, not just history or gospels, but actual practical implication. And I think that that's something that we do very well here, is how what we're learning fits into what we're going to be doing for the rest of our lives. I've worked in a couple of different churches through our contextual ed program. Um, I've done a lot of volunteer work through different times and opportunities here. Remember when you were a kid in school, you, you can think back to a handful of teachers when you were a child that impacted you, that you never forget them. When I came to this seminary, what I discovered is all of those people that you have locked away in your mind, they're here and they've got a way of reawakening your interest in wanting to learn things. I've been to a lot of seminaries. I've worked in three and have been a part of more than that. And hands down, I would say honestly that this is, uh, students will emerge as ready leaders in the church. You know, oftentimes we want to be able to connect all of the dots in our lives immediately. Um, and choosing LTSS was really sort of the, the end dot of my, what is seminary and do I belong here and what does that look like? You can see the, the doors sort of opening up and, and students becoming open to new ways of, of seeing what God is up to. Um, those moments are just so cool. There is nothing that will keep you from being successful here if that's what God has called you to do. Now it's not a dream. It's planning for a reality that is new and different. And if you want to be part of that, you ought to be here.